Welcome back to Pile Driver. I know it's been a while, but here we are back in my lovely living room. Uh, it's my second take because my fucking upstairs neighbors are loud as shit. So, it's already open. This here is a sparkling water. Giving up drinking. Gonna see how that goes. Um, welcome back. I just have a fun couple things I'll show you. Mail stuff. Um, not really much to share. Been busy. Work's been kicking my ass. I'm a tired boy when I get home and uh, just haven't had the gusto to do this. So welcome back. I missed you all. Hopefully you missed me, my annoying voice, and my amazing farmer's tan. If that's picking up, I don't know. Anyhow, welcome back to Pile Driver. Typically, when you're at the Goodwill, the Salvation Army, you look for neat stuff. I look for a lot of clothing accessories, uh, AKA stuff for work, because I don't want to ruin all my own stuff, even though I typically do. But I always peruse the DVDs and the movies and the books and the frames, because you never know what you're gonna find. Um, I lucked out. I thought this was pretty cool. Wanted to own it on VHS. There you have it, ready to rumble. And the best part is, it's a blockbuster copy. So somebody's got late fees. Somebody's got late fees. I'm pretty happy to have this added to the VHS collection. I will rule you. Speaking of which, sitting with the best buddy Crazy J the other night and uh, we watched David Arquette Will Not Die, I believe it's called, or You Can't Kill David Arquette, one of the two. Anyways, super fun film. Um, think it's on Hulu. If you haven't seen it, it's really fun. It's his delve back into pro wrestling after winning the WCW heavyweight title. Um, and his journey. Man's had a crazy life. Uh, certainly has. Certainly has. Anyhow, his journey's cool. Check it out. Speaking of Crazy Jay, he threw these my way because I haven't seen them yet. But uh, they might be in your Walmarts if you're interested. Enamel pin set, little uh, rock, stone cold, hot rod, mankind action. Very fun set, I like that a lot, thank you, Jay. Another little one that came in the mail the other day that I love. I'm assuming it was part of one of the uh, horror uh, loot crate boxes they do, but um, when I first saw the advertisements for Rob Zombies 31, I had to see it. And based off of one of the first images that I saw, I was enthralled by one character. His name is Psychohead. He was portrayed by Lou Temple. So there we have the Lou Temple Psychohead autograph pictured there with Sherry Moon. Looking pretty dope. I love this photo, really cool promo shot. So yeah, I will be framing this one up, but I do love that, that's really cool. Wifeski hit me with the anniversary gift of anniversary gifts. Excuse me. I'm going to be sharing some stills after this because I refuse to open it. But the ringside exclusive NWO John Cena from the Firefly Funhouse cinematic match. It's, it's too dope, but it's got perforated cardboard on the front. If you want to open it, you've got to rip this cardboard apart, and I'm just not going to do it. She was also smart and got me the protective case, so... She knows me, she knows my love for this stuff. Just a very cool image and, and moment in that match. And just now for whatever reason, they decided to make it live forever in plastic. So if you haven't seen that one, I'll be sharing the still images right after this. So that John Cena figure was a huge surprise. I love it. I hope you guys, if interested, go order one because they're just too cool. Um, another thing that I ordered a couple months ago and I've been waiting, uh, they're not really good at responding to messages. Um, there's a big event coming up and obviously you guys, I know, you know I love the horror, uh, but I also like to dress up. I like to portray these horror characters, be it Michael Myers or what have you. Um, but this here, I have a really shitty hood and it was made by Rubies. But 
when I used to do my Jason makeup, it used to take me three and a half hours just till I'd have to shave. I'd have to do appliances that I'd create out of liquid latex and uh, sculpting putty and stuff like that. I do stuff on the skull, uh, you know, just fun stuff just to make it fun. One of my hands down favorite Jasons of all time is Jason in Friday the 13th part three. Clean Jason, fresh hawk that he got from Sheldon, you know, after he, and, and his first kill was with the spear gun after he got the mask, just super neat. Anyhow, Dark Side Studios. Like I said, not very good about responding, but these guys make some amazing stuff. I was pointed in their direction by a friend when I said I was looking for a new hood, and they did not disappoint. Dark Side Studios, look them up, they're on Facebook and they have a webpage, but I just go through Facebook, you can order from the website. Uh, for the messaging thing, just go through Facebook. Anyhow, it took a few months, but here it is. It's got the hunchback. It's got the cutout for the face. Those ear sculpts, pretty great texturing. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. My brother says it looks like an uncircumcised dick when you have it on without a mask. It just, it's got a face. Maybe his penis has a face. I don't know. Anyhow, eyes without a face. But the best part is the nipples. That's great. They're probably going to get pierced and worn under my uh, costume. But I love it. I'm going to throw it on. And uh, I'll be right back with you. As you can see, I've got a little bit of mobility. It moves with you because of the torso piece. Um, but this thing is awesome. The sculpting, the detail, the painting... Gives it a whole lot of depth features. I love it. Looks really cool. Um, and then to top it all off, obviously, sorry guys, I'll cover those up. Um, obviously you need your hawk to go with it to really bring it together. And here I have the one I made out of a cheap like $2 mask. I just repainted it. Looks pretty dope. Uh, throw it on. Looks pretty good. I'm very happy with this. You put that on and fix your straps. Make yourself look real sexy. There you have a clean Jason hood. Looking pretty gnarly. I love this one. Um, super excited to now own this. And thanks to Dark Side Studios, I can be a cool Jason. And that looks pretty funny. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm going to show you what I had before, and uh, you'll see why I like this one so much. So this one here I have from Ruby's, uh, super cheap pickup a while back. It had a lot of hair, and I just trimmed it down real short, but this is a very bloody Jason. Um, and as you can see, too, it's got the slit in the back, as opposed to, like I said, this one. I mean, dude, that's got a hunch molded in, so... I mean, if you just look at them size comparison wise and just quality, quality over price. But if you need something, this does the trick. Um, but obviously, you know, the, the clean hawk doesn't do a whole lot with that because Jason wasn't at that point, you know, a furry headed mongoloid, uh, all bloody. But just to show you this one, There's not a whole lot of room in this one. So when you wear it, you know, and you got your slit in the back, um, it's not very comfortable. You could probably cut it, but whatever. Um, this mask goes with it a little better. A little bloody variant with the axe wound in it which matches up. This didn't come with it. This is a separate design and make. But I mean, it still fits, it still does the trick. Uh, it's just harder to keep this one in an undershirt or under the uniform shirt that he would wear. Uh, still cool, just not, it's just not for me anymore. Um, I've, I think I have a, seven and three quarter size head for a fitted hat. It's getting hot in here. 
It's sparkling water's doing the job, isn't it, Macho? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That's like being pooped out. Whew. But, yeah, Rubber Johnny's. That's what that's from. But, that, uh, yeah, what, what this one's from. But, like I said, if you've got a big head, it's not. Just go with some quality over, you know, what you want. Uh, obviously, Dark Side makes them as, you know, as people order them. They just don't have a bunch laying around. So that's why it took so long, custom order. But, dude, totally worth every penny, totally worth the wait. If you want something, I'd probably order it now before Halloween or, you know, like, we got some cons coming up. But we'll see. You might have to wear a mask. So this next one was a little Mercari pickup. The guy said they're out of his personal collection. Most of them were taking indie shows over the years. Uh, one of the photos I did look at the date on um, was 2012, but it's definitely one of my personal favorites because I myself am a funker, but this guy, he's the biggest funker I know. Look at that. I love that photo. That's great. It's got to get framed, put beside the bed. But that one was February 24th of 2012 is what that's dated. So whether that's the printed date or what, I'm not sure. So this one here says August 25th of 2005 uh, for 3PW World Champion. None other than the Funkster. That's a pretty cool photo. I like that one a lot too. These are neat. They were in the bundle. Uh, I figure why not for the price. They're cool. A lot of them are just candids that this guy took. I guess he was a ringside photographer. Um, this one here is also August 25th of 2005. Greg the Hammer sporting some indie fed title. But that's really cool. Um, I love the old stuff. The golden era is where it's at for me. So growing up with Greg the Hammer Valentine, going back and watching his matches now, I just, I'm astounded. I, I love his work. GLW, if anybody's got any information for me on what GLW stands for, um, can't really read much on that. Looks like a, another cheesy indie title, but there's the Hammer himself hanging out with that title. And then here's another indie title. I'm guessing he won along the way. Uh, kind of looks like a redone boxing title. Some wrestling plates added to it, but the Campbell Soup Kid himself. And then one more, one more Funker. This one doesn't really have a date on it, but I'm assuming it's possibly the same show. No, he's got the different tights on, but pretty cool photo. Very happy to see these. I don't just, it made me very happy. And for the price, like I said, I just couldn't pass it up. So very happy. What's up? So that's about all I got for today. Sorry you caught me mid-sip there. Um, we're going to close it out with some uh, Coffee with Lines from the Halfway to Halloween show. So thank you very much for checking it out. I appreciate it. Uh, as always... I'm a funker. Hopefully you guys are funkers. Throw me a like, a share, a comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, hope to see you back next time. I'll make it quicker this time. I'm trying to get back on the weekly, but it's just uh, infuriating. You know what I mean? It's hard to keep up with. Coffee with Lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah.